What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tremonte, man. And what I need to say is that we need a new intro, bro. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to let me know in the comments. If y'all rock with the if y'all rock with the intro, let me know. If we get 10 likes on this video, or even let me know down in the comments. If y'all like the intro, let me know. Or give me some suggestions on how we should do it or what the new intro should be for the channel. You know what I'm saying? It's not just my channel, it's y'all channel too. So y'all input literally means the world to me so let me know down in the comments or you y'all could bring the video up to 10 likes you know what i'm saying that'll let me know that y'all rocking with the content and y'all rocking with the intro so with that being said we a little bit late i don't know what when was this sunday i think this game was sunday because obviously it couldn't have been a monday night game i think this was a sunday night game um so we got tampa bay versus the kansas city chiefs now with that being said y'all know as usual i gotta say it for every new viewer uh, we don't watch these other games. The only games that we watch live or we try to watch live if I'm awake is the Saints game. So with that being said, Kansas City versus Tampa Bay. Tom Brady coming into Tampa Bay trying to hold off the Kansas City Chiefs, bro. So I'm not going to waste no time. I'm going to get straight into the video because the video is 12 minutes. Um, let me know who y'all think is going to come out with the win. I know you guys probably already seen the video. You're probably just waiting on a reaction. But or you even probably seen the game and reaction. You're just watching my reaction. So let's get into it. Let's see if we have a but predictions go. before the game start. Tampa. Tampa Bay, as we know, obviously is not really a good. I wouldn't say a good team. Their offense just isn't good at all. They fumble the first play of the game. Second and five, Kelsey. You know, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, the way he acts and the way he looks kind of reminds me of Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, if if anyone agrees with me, let me know in the comments. Tom Brady literally reminds me of Jeffrey Dahmer, bro. And Mahomes throws it that way. And there's Kelsey. Travis Kelsey Three straight off the rip. Right away, Kansas City on the board. Hey, hey, yo, Travis Kelsey, seconds. he got a black girlfriend and started acting crazy. He's definitely second. invited to the cookouts, bro. I don't know how y'all be letting Leonard Fournette do that to y'all. He definitely wouldn't be running me over. Like, he's not a good running back. He's so trash. Yeah, like, just... He's not good. Wow. Kansas City coming out with that spice. Straight off the rip touchdown, they held the Bucks on the first drive at three. Love to see it. Let's go. Four points in two games after that. From the 21, Mahomes. Mahomes scrambling. See a lot of that with him to Kelsey. Easy first down. A lot of that with him. First down. I I literally believe that Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are going to go down as the. Trying to get away from it. Flips it out there, oh. and it's complete. <laughs> Juju. Juju. For the first down. Uh, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are literally going to go down as the best tight end QB duo in the in the league, bro. For the first down in front of Carlton Ever Davis. in history, obviously. It's like it's like Drew Brees and Jim, Dr Jimmy Graham. Into the secondary. Clyde, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. To the 11. From the 12. Yeah, Devin White. That blitz ain't gonna work, buddy. That blitz ain't gonna work, buddy. Taking the direct snap. You could see anything down here. And McKinnon on the give inside Edwards. Hilaire's got the first down. Damn, he still got it. That's how you fight. Now, what I will say is the Bucks' defense is pretty good. I don't like them because they're definitely one of the dirtiest defenses in the league. And they talk the most shit. But one thing I'll say, they have some key players who definitely back, up, back it up. But they're not as good as they swear they are. They swear they're like God's gift to earth, bro. Damn. That is the strength of Pacheco. I feel like, you know, like, I, I really want to say this. I don't mean any harm by what I'm about to say. But every time I see his face, like, literally, bro, every time I see his face, it's just something about him that makes me so upset. Because out of everybody on the Buccaneers defense, 
not even the Cowboys talk as much trash as this dude. Like, let me show y'all what I said to this dude. Like, I don't know what... I, I have to stop doing this because they'll literally... These NFL players, when we make it big and, like, it's starting time to get connections with the NFL and go to these events and stuff, that shit is literally going to come back to haunt me. But I mean everything I say, bro. Devin White, you... I, I just... I'm waiting for the day that somebody just levels your shit, bro. I'm waiting for the day that you go up against a running back like, like Jonathan Taylor or, like, Somebody who just runs your shit clean over, just cleans your damn clock, bro. I'm not praying that you get hurt, but you you literally deserve it. You talk so heavy, and you swear you're so good. Like, bro. I just had to get that off. I had to, like, I had to let that go. The whole Bucks organization, I can't stand. I seen this clip. I couldn't believe it. Oh my gosh. Patrick Mahomes is unbelievable, bro. He is unbelievable. Brady. Timothy Brady. What the? Did he just give him a DDT? The 36 looking deeper downfield and on cue there it is Chris and it is Evans. I don't even want to hear his name. Fuck that nigga. From the 34 Brady underneath Cameron Brate. Like him, him, Mike Evans and Devin White literally just need to get their fucking clock clean, bro. Somebody need to knock their fucking block off. I can't stand them niggas. Like, I, I, I literally mean every word I say. I cannot stand them, bro. Like, I can't stand them. Like, even Tom Brady, like, I can tolerate him. I can tolerate, like, how good he is. Obviously, you got to give greatness its credit, but Mike Evans, bro, and Devin White, I can't stand you. Pacheco, very busy wow, that dude's fast. For nine yards. With a 52-yard field goal attempt and go for it on fourth and one. They replaced the old number 10 with a new fast number and 10. Mahomes out of the backfield. Edwards in there. Can't grab it. Just a Bro. The game for Kansas City. Cole Beasley in for the Buccaneers. Get him. Brady pressured. Lost the football. It's free. Chris Jones tries to scoop it and has it for Kansas City. Get off the ground, Brady. Get off the ground. Stop crying. Get off the ground or retire, old man. Get off the ground or retire. How many times are they going to have to teach you this lesson, old man? Bro, the handle on my chair is literally about to come off. Ball touching the 10, so first and goal. Pacheco up the middle. Pacheco Bro, this the kid. Down to the two. Is he a rookie? Hanging on. What's his name? Pacheco? Oh! What? Was that a direct snap to Travis Kelsey? Who is that? And I know they weren't expecting that, obviously. What? By pointing over to Kelsey, and it's a Kansas City touchdown. They do everything. That's bro. That that's Kansas City specialty. Brady. 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 Throw to Chris Godwin on the inside. Godwin right around the 32-yard line. You know when Tom Brady gets mad, bro, he's literally the biggest sore loser I ever met in my life. Here is Brady's throw through traffic. Great. That's how you know their ass. Like, how do you how do you run into your own teammate? Their offense is so un, so literally overrated. The Bucks are an overrated organization, bro. It's only the defense that's carrying this team. Kansas City, come on! Chris Godwin is the only the only player on the team that I like. Seconds or I don't have a problem with, I should say. Straight out blitz. Brady slides, gets it to Fournette. Leonard Fournette takes it very close to the first down. It's He's Brady so Larkin. trash. Cook, the rookie, pull him down. Fucking trash. Green 18. Green 18. Green 18. 
Slam him. What a job at the line of scrimmage there. We need team. Brady in the pocket throws to the end zone. Nope. Incomplete for break for the flag on one Fornhill. It will take the Buccaneers down near the goal line. Brady and Cameron Bray. I definitely would say are. Brady looking. Evans brought it in. Great catch. I'll say this. I will definitely say this. Because even as even as an observer, bro, I'm not trying to play back back uh what is it called? Backhand coach or backseat coach. But if you're going against the Bucks, bro, you should already know the fact that when they're one thing I've always noticed, and it's probably because we play them two times a year as a Saints fan, they don't ever run the ball. Even though they have Leonard Fournette in them as running back, even when they had Shady McCoy and all those running backs, uh, Ronald Jones, they never ran the ball in the red zone. They always do a play action pass, and it's always a quick pass to the outside. They'll have someone come in motion, and it's easily stoppable because you you would expect them to to run the ball, but they don't do that. But Brady's very good at calling his protection and being able to audible on the spot. He's he's been a, he's a veteran. That's why he has seven Super Bowls. But that's literally the key to what they do. They do that shit every i every single time. Mar like literally, pay attention to it next time you watch them play. And I guarantee you I'm right. That's all they do. Every time they're in the red zone, it's always a play action pass straight out there to the to the back in the corner. Or they'll have the running back do a do a quick out. And they'll play action. And it's a touchdown every time. Kansas City. The Chiefs are doing a good job of making sure that they're getting extra yards. They don't just go down. They try to extend the play as much as they can. They've always been good at that. Juju Smith. Is he playing good this year? Is he, is he pretty good? Damn, I know Steelers fans are sick, bro. I know they're tight. They lost Juju, bro. I know y'all loved him, too. He, he, was, he, was a, he was a cool dude. Very, like, down to earth. Field goal, 31 to 17. Field goal attempt as a Kansas City Chief. Going quick here from the 25. Brady quick pass. Again, like Chris, Chris Godwin. And it's Chris Godwin who carries the Chiefs' bodies for the first down. Across I really don't have a problem at all with Chris Godwin, bro. He's he's a great player. And here's 26 in a row. He gives it to us every Brady single time we play him. He fucks us up. And he just came back from getting hurt, too, I believe. He was hurt. Oh, yeah, this is a Super Bowl rematch. This is a Super Bowl rematch. I forgot about that. Oh. Nice. 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 Gain of 25. Carlton Davis is so ass. I'll literally slap him he in his face. I'll slap that hater. Out of that the hazel out of that nigga's eyes. Skymore inside the 10. More at the five yard line. He, that, that dude, number 10, I don't know his name. Bro, it's 38. It's literally about to be 38 to 17. I just noticed that, bro. And it's only the third quarter. What? The Chiefs are literally scoring at will. Damn, and they taking pictures. They being disrespectful. Damn. They was taking pictures in the end zone. Players are trained to do one thing, and that's my eyes. Somebody has to prevent it to get that. Check down. Damn, the Bucks, the Bucks offense is so overrated. But you know, undisputed Skip and Shannon, like they literally just dick ride the Bucks, bro, because it's Tom Brady. They just dick ride these teams. They're not even good. They dick ride the Cowboys. They dick ride the Bucks. It never fails. The teams that deserve the recognition, like the Bengals or like teams like, oh wow, teams like Miami, they don't put them in the media how they do with these dudes. And it's so it's so crazy, but it is what it is. Pat Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. 
very important women all around the National Football League. It's literally about to be, they about to put up 60, bro. Oh my gosh. And they still passing the ball. They don't care. I don't blame you though. It's Brady. You know, you know how that goes. He tried to get it to Marquez Valdez scaling. Matthew Wright, good from 44. This 41 to 24. Good job done by Tommy Townsend, the punter. Those are the guys Damn. that are starting to pick it up. And they got the ball back again. Pressure picked up. Mahomes. Pat Mahomes. Oh, he threw an he threw it across his body and across the field. Strip it. Strip it. Sean Murphy Bunting, who had played almost no defense. What the hell, the bro? Tackle him. Tackle his weak nice ass. Bro, don't go over there celebrating, bro. You're losing 40. You're losing 41 to 24. Why are you going on the sideline to talk? Like, literally, what is the matter with you? Bro, if him right here, him right here, my computer's been a little bit slow. Him right here, I and him right here, this dude, as soon as he would have did that, I literally would have went just like this. Look at the scoreboard, buddy. 41 to 24 and you're celebrating nobody knows your name bro you're literally a nobody your contract is going to be up literally like probably in three days you're literally a nobody bro don't come over here celebrating and flipping tables and shit this ain't wwe bitch the 30 yard line. you're still talking Generally, shit you want to clear him out and then run behind and that's why i can't the stand the bugs they talk the so much Robert shit Kane's but they're so the ass you're literally losing and by Sanders, over 20 30 points bro but I and you're still talking know what tom brady's going to do to him by week 16 so ass here he is over the middle complete to evans to the 12 yard line he'll, he'll have him ready like we literally should be on top of the nfc south two two. but we 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 literally been we literally would be a couple of the undefeated teams if we played how we were supposed to play we literally shut brady out just like we did all last year there was no reason we should have lost that game. We beat ourselves. They should not have beat us. The Bucks are so fucking ass. Without the tight end, Cameron right here in the second half in a big hole. Like, look at him trying so hard. The game's over. Like, what are you doing? The fucking game is over. Get down. I can't stand these moves, bro. To the place where Tampa beat him in I wouldn't Super even Bowl shake 15. his hand. I'll just walk away. Has an outstanding game. Fuck the sportsmanship. Fuck that nigga. I'd have been like, damn, bro. Antonio Brown took a picture with your wife. Well, let me not let me not say that. Because you know what I'm saying? Even though it's football, at the end of the day, it's just a game. You know? Football is just a game. Antonio Brown wilding out. I ain't going to lie. That nigga is wild. Damn. He is tripping. But... I pray everything get better for Tom Brady, but still don't like you, bro. I'll never really like you. I can't stand you. You came to our division. We own this damn division, and you swear, y'all swear y'all are some hot shit. If we weren't beating ourselves, we would literally be undefeated right now, and that is a fact. But on top of the NFC South, on top of the NFC as a whole, um, uh, I, I literally have no words. The Chiefs came out here and literally spanked y'all ass. Um... Patrick Mahomes obviously is Tom Brady's father. Um, yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm pretty sure I got out everything I had to say. I sent my DMs. Uh, the Buccaneers know exactly how I feel about them. Every player who I don't like, I've individually sent messages. Um, yeah. So Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, the best tight end QB duo in probably NFL history. Um, great game. And yeah, man.